What's up, guys? This is Wayne Gaze here. And I am KC Beats. And today, we are playing some Eldering Ring. Let's get to it. Starting a new character. Mm hmm. So I guess the question is, is who are you going to pick and what do, what's your build going to be? Well, you know, I'm thinking about doing a Blood Mage build. Blood Mage, Blood Mage. So, I don't actually know a whole lot about the terms for this game, or any game for that matter. I'm, I, have, I have very poor memory skills when it comes to terminology in video games, but... I still play them, so <laughs> still love video games. Just not good with remembering stuff. Well, yeah. totally naked. Well, at least he's got some draws on. Yeah, at least, right? Some games don't do that, like 2077. That game was OC when it came to your character creation. That's true. Still a really good game though. Really solid. Yeah, it was it was solid for all the glitches and stuff that they had to deal with. I mean I, I very bar barely ran into any real serious glitches that stopped me from playing the game. But I was playing on PC. I heard the consoles were just not doing too good at all. Hmm. I think I'm gonna call this guy uh Eldritch Van Blood. Eldritch you know. Van Blood. Yeah, okay, exactly. You know the official name, you know? Yes. I must make this. Uh, keepsake. That's a very important thing. I um, think the golden seed is what I would go with. Yeah. Because that's that's a boost like right away. Yeah, but I could go with the Crimson Amber Medallion. That gives a boost to health. Ah, so true. I think early on it's either one extra flask or boost the health right away. I think I'll go with the extra health. Yeah, I'll go with this. Let's go. Loading and loading and loading and loading. Five days later. <laughs> Nothing like a good opening to a game. Nope. Alright guys, I'm getting taken in by the lore a little bit. I'm just going to skip forward a little bit. Just in case if you haven't played this game, it doesn't ruin it for you. You know what I mean? So let's uh, skip. Also, uh, if, I don't know if you guys are able to hear it, but I have a fish tank in the background. That's what that water trickling noise is, if it's picking up on the mic. Nothing I can do about that. So let's see, what is this? It's your finger. Yep, the finger. Let's see. Let me hook up my equipment real quick. I run no shield on on my builds. I, I, I my my build is a mage with a sword and um, pretty much basic spells, but he gets the job done. I like the mage because I can I can stay away from the actual direct combat and be a really good support character. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually not that good at this game. <laughs> no, I'm horrible at this game, but it's fun to play. Yeah, it's a real fun game to play. 
Let's see if I can beat this thing, I think. I'm trying my best, guys. Whew. Get my stamina back. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Oh, the screen. Uh, you don't you don't hit the Goku button. Yep, Goku button hit. Woo! Woo! Come on. With your nine arms, you can't hit me once, bruh. He's got <laughs> too many swords. He needs to put his collection away. <laughs> he had no bull. Oh! Oh! He got me. Ah. Uh. Well, it happens from time to time, time. Now, you know if you beat him, you get his swords and his shield. So if you can manage to, you know, take care of him, you'll get some nice holy weapons early on. Which is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I got my flasks. All right. Now, you could go down here and start the tutorial dungeon if you want a little bit of extra souls. So I guess I could, uh, I'll probably end up with maybe like 30 souls, I don't know. But it's worth it just to show people. Cool. So if you yeah. don't know... So it's like an alternate way to go through the game, basically, to get to where you're going? Uh, not exactly. It's more of the tutorial walkthrough down here. So it's not really like... It's... If you well, don't I mean, know... like, a, just another way you can go before you actually, like, enter said gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably get maybe... I don't know. Maybe a hundred souls if I'm good. And can just take these guys out and fight the boss for them. I'm not gonna waste my arrows. It's a nice shield. Well, I'm waiting until he stops. There we go. Done. Whew. Oh yeah. Got the nope it's equipped. One of the things I really like about this game is the uh, attention to detail in the actual environments that they put you in. Nope. I agree with that. The and then thing, there's the whole attention to detail with the actual enemies as well. And the bosses, I believe personally from, from what I've seen from Dark Souls 3, um, they stick true to the Dark Souls formula as far as difficulty. But, you know, who doesn't, who wouldn't want a Dark Souls free room game, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think they've made a uh, very good decision when creating this game. I agree. That's a big sword he's wielding. Oh, damn. Okay. Happens. 
It's the timing that's really tricky. Timing and actually avoiding strikes. But I guess that kind of goes hand in hand. Okay, so I almost got about 200 souls. If you played this game, it's called Runes, but I've been playing Dark Souls at least since uh, Dark Souls 3, so... I've always been around people who play Dark Souls, so... If I call Runes Dark... Uh, Runes Souls, it's because that's what I'm used to. Oh, right. I don't know why they changed it. It really doesn't make any sense to me. Well, different style of uh, lore environment. Well, not really a different style of lore, per se. But it has its own feel, you know what I mean? So what's your objective? What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to, one, uh, get the, I think it's called the, uh, hmm. The Ash of War is called Blood Blade. There's a knife that has this Ash of War on it that I'm going to go collect, but i got to get a little bit stronger yet. It's going to be pretty difficult for me to do it with just this knife. But if I remember correctly, an NPC joins in the fight, so it should be nice. Oh, finally outside. I love the environment. The, yeah, the environments are impressive. They're, I love the the way things are moving and flowing and all of the foliage, the rocks. I mean, it all ties in really nice. Mm. All right, so I think I'm going to go over to the church over there. And then I'm going to get the crafting thing. And I'm going to need some bones, if I can catch up to him. Oh. He's rolling away. Yep, rolling. I'm putting a potato bucket. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> I still missed. He's like, nope, you can't get me. I'm the master of dodging all things. <laughs> you will not hurt me. I will roll away from you. Nope. I still don't know why they do that. It's so weird. <laughs> it is weird. I agree. Okay, guys. If uh, I'm just gathering some materials so I can craft myself some arrows. Oh, that guy. Let me, uh... <laughs> I'm playing hide it's time to hide. Yup. I'm not strong is enough that to that the dude that on the golden here. horse? Yes. Oh, my God. I hate that guy. Oh, I still haven't beaten him to this day. Man. And your character's pretty strong. See, already I have, uh... Oh, that's the map. Okay. No, with my character, I had I had somebody else beat him for me. Okay. But once you beat him, they're gone, so I can't, like, re-beat him again with that character. True. Yeah, if you haven't played a Souls game before, this is a good one to start with. Uh, That's kind of how um, Monster Hunter World was. Yep. Oh, good. I got 600 runes. That's a good little start. So definitely go to that first area so that you can pick up a couple things. Oh, man. Now the difficult part. I eventually got to get the bone arrow uh, crafting book, cookbook. So let me just collect a couple more arrows. Sorry, guys. Slaughter the animals. No, don't say that, man. <laughs> Get demonetized on that one. And all I said was slaughter the animals. Exactly. I'm not going to get demonetized for that. 
I didn't curse. Oh. Well. I don't know. I like animals, but. <laughs> In I video guess... games, I don't care what they are, I kill it all. Mm. Especially if I can get things out of it, like materials. Like, mm. why wouldn't you kill them? Yeah. You don't have to kill them all, but you can kill some. Well, if you're trying to farm or something, then. Yeah, farming. Yeah. I used to do that a lot in, uh, in, uh, uh, what was it, Elder Scrolls Online? I used to farm for, uh, wood. I'd farm for, uh, what was that stuff called? Um, ingots. And ingots, and, and, and there was another one. I think it was pewter, am I correct? Okay. So pewter, ingots, and wood. And then of course I would I would I would give them to your character who trade items. Well. Nope. Because you were always like fabricating stuff and I never did. Yeah, I was the blacksmith for like five different characters in that game. Yep. So I'd make the whole party's equipment. Which is nice. But kind of had to stop playing. Maybe I'll get back to that one one of these days and uh, show my character. Okay, here we go. Getting up to the gates. Good. Now what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to get that bonfire or that, that grace and then I'm going to go across the river. And uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of power leveling. Grace is another back. one of those things where it's like grace and bonfire are the same thing, but like bonfire is the old term. Yep. Yep. Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2, Demon Souls. That game was nuts. All of them are nuts. I mean, yeah, well, Dark Demon Souls. Demon Souls was, was especially crazy. Trying to, trying to remember, maybe it was Dark Souls 2 that I saw me playing. Oh, right in the back. Yep. I need to get a couple. Better find the dude with the horn. What is that the dude with the horn? He is right there. I'm too far away from the coming to me. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm just gathering a little bit. He summons his minions, it's all over. Yeah, and then I gotta deal with like six or seven dudes, and that's just way too much. Too much. I don't feel like getting stomped that fast. I at least want y'all guys to see where I'm going. <laughs> There's a little, you know, shortcut. I've done Dying this one in this for game is inevitable. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. If you don't die, you ain't playing Dark Souls, right? <laughs> if you're not dying, you're not playing. Yo. Know? Is she giving me a Honda? <laughs> Honda. I wonder what year. <laughs> 1985 Honda Civic. Sorry guys. Yeah. Just skipping through a little bit. Let me accept. If you guys play the game, you can read all that stuff later. Nope. This is not a, a playthrough where you're going to see all the the interludes and story driven stuff. Alright. This is a, a a channel where we play games for action. Nope. Alright. Oh, yeah, summon your horse. I wanna avoid everyone around here. Yep, because they're probably too strong at this point. Well, I can get them. It's just... It would just take forever, and it would make this video stupid long. Yeah. 
Let me just avoid the Viking up ahead. Sorry guys if you're seeing some serious lag. I don't have my fans on because it would completely drown out the microphone. Sound like you're sitting next to a jet engine or something, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, if you have your computer's uh, fan set to auto, it should kick on when it needs to. Okay. Now, this might get me killed, but that's okay. Uh, do I want to get that bonfire first? No, I think I'll try and tackle it. Let me just get around. Usually I would go back there in the cut to get the bonfire so I can respawn if I need to, but I might not die. <laughs> so, There's a 50-50 chance. Yeah. You know where I'm going. This is going to be crazy. If y'all guys don't know where I'm going, you shall see. Hopefully I don't die. The worst enemy to fight in this game, believe it or not, will be the dogs. That's one. That's two. Kill, 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 kill. Ooh, I'm about to die. <laughs> Off the horse. Attack the rat. Ooh, where's the other one? Wasn't there two? Ah, oh, I, I got them all. I cool. think you killed all of them, sir. Ooh. I don't know, sometimes the jump scares be real in this game. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Alright, I wonder what's in this chest. Man, everybody's dropping messages here. Wow, oh, smoke. Ha ha. Loading, loading, loading. Nope. Well, I do have to say the load times are not quite as bad in this game as previous games have been. Yeah. What I really like about this game is the, mobi the mobility, really. Because you can just get on your horse and go anywhere. Okay, guys. Now is a serious time. Grab this stuff, and then I have to run like mad. That's him. Down here. Oh, no! I'm about to die. This person's gonna get me too. Oh no, he got me! No! You no. are D A D D Ed. D Ed? D Ed. <laughs> okay. It was so epic it made my voice not work correctly. Oh, okay. D E A E E E E E D D Dead. Super Dead. They killed you so fast, and you don't even have the bomb. Oh, okay, cool. You don't have to go all yeah. the way back to the beginning. Yeah, I'm not doing that. He's alive! I'm just trying to run. Get my soul. He's probably going to click me. Where's my souls? Oh, that's not fair. They took your souls from they you? They took my souls! They stole your, your runes. Wait. Oh. Oh. Jeez, man, why? Why would you do that? Oh, uh, my bad, guys. Like, like we said before, if you're not oh. dying in this game, you're not playing this game. <laughs> I was going to go back for my souls, but he was like, nope, I still see you. I'm going to get you. You might as well just I should get those souls. Yeah, I'm, they're, they're gone now, so that's 800 souls down. That's oh, never man. a good thing. Yeah. That is always a bad, bad thing. Anyway. So do it. Kill me now. Room. I'm here. Kill me now. Ha. Jumping for the win. Skip past all those fools. Long roll. Oh. 
Okay. Now I've made it to where I need to go. Now I need to get on my horse and ride out. I think that's the only thing that I don't like about this game, really, is the fact that you can die enough times to lose your to lose your chance to get your souls back. Yeah. I wish they didn't do that, because that kind of... I mean, can you imagine you've got, like, 80,000 souls, and, like, you die twice, and it's like, boom, 80,000 souls gone. It's happened. And with the amount of souls or runes, I should say, that you would need to upgrade sometimes, that's like losing everything. Alright guys, I'm going to have to get to some sketchy crap real quick. Just don't die. Not trying to. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I like the one video where the guy was like, he was uh, showing how to get through this stuff and he was like, he was like, he came through the door and he was like, welcome to, and you know. H-E double hockey sticks, basically. I, I love the fact that when I tried <laughs> to say D-E-A-D -E dead, I couldn't do it. You said deed? I, was, <laughs> I said like everything <laughs> except for that. Oh, man. That happens. Admitting to my own stupidity. Hmm. Let's see, where yeah, I? I had a brain fart at that point. Could not compute word. Hmm. Alright, now I gotta get through this crazy place. Let's see. I got I'm my doing. giant brand Acadia water. Acadia. Spring water, apparently. That's what's up. To keep me able to bring these voices to your system. Prepare yourselves. This will be epic. Yeah, if I can make it there. <laughs> You've done crazier stuff than that. True. In this game, particularly, too. True. If I can get past this dragon. Well, if that dragon has anything to say about it, you're yeah. not going to make it. Come on, horse, run. Run faster, come on. You must move. Run move faster, now. horse. Run faster. Come on. Move <laughs> now. Go now. Do it now. I'm here. Come here, dragon. <laughs> I was jump off my horse, grab this. Need that and man. And run as far and as fast as I can. Is he still behind me? Okay, it's not behind. Me. He like was like, dragon was like, man, I'm too lazy to be chasing some person. No bull. You know, so you on that man. Can't be, can't be sitting here chasing this person all over the place. All right, now I have to go back this way past the dragon. You know what's funny? You know, people who don't know, you know, the, you know, video games in and out, yeah. don't understand that there's actually a an area of effect of that dragon that that dragon will not go out of. True. He's tethered to that area. Well, they kind of cover that in some clever ways with uh, how they design this place. So that dragon has a good bit of mobility, but. It only moves so far. It won't chase right. you everywhere throughout the, the landscape. It, at some point, it will stop pursuit because it, it will reach the area where they don't want the dragon to go any further. Yeah. Well. Come on, horse. There we go. All right, let's see if I can make it. Only thing I wish is that the horse ran a little bit faster. Yeah, but you know, it's faster than a Skyrim horse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you didn't know, guys, I uh, I'm a modder as well as a game dev, so playing Elden Ring is really fun from either perspective. 
What's interesting is when you're when you're working on video games, you tend like the best thing is you tend to notice all the little stuff that most people don't. Yeah. So like when we're when we're looking at a game like this, especially when you're looking at the uh, landscape, you can as a as a game developer you can really you know appreciate what they did here. Nope. Putting you into a world like this is because a lot of this stuff has to be hand placed. It's just not, it's not all just randomly generated. I I don't know exactly how they did it, but it may may even be just like all handmade. Because when I was making uh, landscapes um, early on, I had to hand make everything. Yeah, there's not too much, you know, genera generation with this landscape. This is... Sorry guys, I'm getting a little lost because I'm not able to open my map right now. I think because there's some enemies around. Come on, Matt. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to go by. Oh, my map won't open. That's interesting. Map malfunction. Yeah, no, at the worst time, too. So there's like enemies everywhere. I'll well, guys, this is a video of us just trying to figure out where the hell to go. Oh! What is, is that the dragon? Come on, horse. Woo! Yeah, yeah that was the dragon. Okay. That wasn't a dragon. What the hell was that? That was a crow bird dog oh, cr thing. A crow bird dog thing. <laughs> crow bird I thought dog. it was a dragon claw. I didn't know what the hell that was. No, I'm, I'm trying to... Come on, map. Oh, man, this is terrible. I can't open my map at the worst freaking time. Video failure. There we go. Finally, right, it's like letting you open it. Here. Back into the treachery. Yeah, craziness, man. This is not an area you want to come early. Oh, that, exactly. That's scary. I gotta say that that if I was playing that late at night with my lights off in my room, I would have a jump scare. Better do that shit quick. He's not behind me, or it's not behind me. Thank God, right? I don't know his uh, his area of of. of you movement. see that thing in the distance, man? That's what I'm talking about. The dog bird. Oh yeah. Those yeah. things are crazy, dude. Pretty much everything in this game, especially in the area he's at, will kill you in one shot if you're doing what he's doing. So there's literally no room for error. None. Whew, finally made it. Oh, now I can relax a little bit. Just a little bit. And you don't want to get too relaxed, though, because then Stuff can come out of the woodwork. Yep, it gets I almost super dropped hand. the S-bomb. I don't know what you're talking about. That's classified. Classified <laughs> information. Oh, snap. A lot of things are classified in this video. We haven't talked much about what you're actually doing. Oh, yeah. My bad, guys. We are going on a small uh, exploit. Nothing bad, but... Just to give us a little bit of a boost in uh, level. That's all. Nothing too crazy. It might take a little while, though. <laughs> you say nothing too crazy like you didn't just go through hell <laughs> and survive with a, with oh, a base character. Oh, a dragon! With a base character of all things. Yeah, I'm like level what? Oh, that's a big dragon. I didn't know I was running towards its head. Okay. Let's go. That is a very big dragon. 
super dragon. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's a slumbering dragon, am I right? Yes. So basically, guys, once you reach this thing, uh, that dragon will not attack you if you attack it. True. Because it's just going to sleep all the way through it until it's death. Yep, and also, well, you'll see, there's a couple ways to get more souls than... See that guy right there? He's doing the same thing. But he doesn't know the secret over here. That way, you don't end up wasting your shots. Oh. Yeah, it's right back here. Huh. Maybe they changed it? I don't think they would I wonder have. if they did. I think you have to be farther up, like right underneath there. No, 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 I'll go up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's a sweet spot. There we go, that's one. Slice and dice and this dragon's gonna be paying the price. It doesn't understand that you're twice as nice, like sugar and spice. Slay the dragon. I love how this dragon has feathers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This, my friends, is going to take some time. Yep. But see, the cool thing is, if you guys actually level your character and give yourself a little bit more in stamina, you won't have to worry about letting your stamina bar rebuild all day long. Also, if you get a, uh, a flail, I think it's the flail, a bleed weapon, basically, uh, it enables you to kill the dragon a little faster than just doing normal attacks all day long. So a bleed weapon is a must. As you can see, this is taking me forever. But once it's done, and also if you have a, a I think it's called a, a gold, golden owl foot or something for that line it basically boosts runes so as when you finally kill this thing you'll get I think about 90,000 yeah about 90,000 well, runes better than halfway done with it right yeah I just gotta get a couple more bleed props on it like probably three more Yeah, this is a really good method if you're trying to get a good amount of levels without having to do any kind of cheating. Yeah. And cheating is is one of those things that we're not covering in these videos because nope. you're going to have to figure that one out for yourself. Yeah, no cheating, guys. Do it legit so you feel that accomplishment, you know? But once he's done killing this dragon and he shows you what his reward is, you'll be like, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. You know, especially for your early on characters, you know, your, not your very first character, but if you want to, you know, level up pretty quickly, or at least a little bit, then, uh, do, you could use this exploit. But if you want to play legitimately, and just go through everything and, you know, get the runes and all that. That's fine, too. No problem with that. I'm just doing this for the simple fact of showing people. And also, I'm trying to get to a certain level very fast. 
he should be dead pretty soon. Yeah, well. I think like five more hits. Waiting for that bleed prop to hit. There we go. Done. The dragon has been slain. Well, and let's see. How many souls did I get? Okay, I got about 74,000 souls. Cool. Now I will level up. That is a nice chunk of souls for a character who is not even that level. Now the hard part. That's the whole, you know, point of really doing this exploit like this is because you can get a good decent amount of levels out of it when you're really low level if you can survive the trip. Let's see. This is going to be difficult. I'm trying to remember the statistics. I might need to go fight the weapon or get the weapon and then Well, that let's leave that for another episode. Oh, getting the weapon itself. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop because we've done, we've shown them exactly what you were trying to do and what the exploit was. And it's not even really an exploit. It's like you kill the dragon, you get your, you get your runes, and you know, yeah. I mean, you have to go through hell to get there. Don't. Don't get it twisted. He made it look easy, but it's not easy <laughs> by any means. Alright, guys. Well, I'm signing off. Next episode, we'll uh, go get that knife. And uh, we'll level up. Thanks for watching. Play anything, guys. Yeah, play anything. <laughs>